All right, welcome back everybody. Aesop Grimm here. This is the continuation of our Subnautica Below Zero Chronicle. You can tell I've been doing a lot of recordings here lately because I've nailed that intro a couple times. Um, okay, I just began my countdown timer. And uh, I've made another grow bed out here, here with... Uh, these are the... <clears throat> pardon me. Those giant... Uh, anemone that we found in the deeps and the, in the deep in the trenches so I planted all those and I filed everything else away that we brought back uh, I went ahead and got rid of that coral uh, it turned out being of no practical use it's just for looks and I believe this is now completely filled out with yeah uh, ribbon plant so what we were gonna do in this episode let's see I also create a place to store eggs and create a separate place for salt which will move when we put our salt uh, our, our water maker up uh, I did that to create more room in the organics locker here so now what we're going to do is kind of just go through what we can make here there's nothing new in this area that i see nothing new here okay water filtration machine definitely going to do that so we need aerogel copper wire and three titanium so let's go over here one two three and we'll need copper wire. And we will need aerogel, one ruby and one gel sack. Okay. That's what we put these up here for. And replace it immediately. Now, because I'm using vegetables up here, my bioreactor is actually chewing through that stuff really fast. So I need to keep an eye on it. Growing. <clears throat> okay. And we might put a nuclear thing in for the hands-free maintenance aspect of it. Uh, let's see, I need to actually make the arrow gel. Oh, what am I looking for up here? Oh, I need a ruby. I'm kind of ex I mean, I like all the episodes I do. I don't want you to get this wrong. I was going to say I'm kind of excited about this episode. I I like all of them, but I'm especially excited for this one because I've been waiting for that water filtration device. I really like this pewter color. That worked out very, very nicely with the gold trim. I mean, if I had total control, and I guess I kind of do, but it's a big trial and error thing. If I was in Photoshop... I would alter these hues a little bit. This would be probably a little bit brighter. And this would be a little bit darker, perhaps. But I think the blue is spot on. And, um... Yeah, it just it really appeals to me. But I guess that's why that's pretty close to my channel colors. I started out with black and white channel colors, because I like basics also. Some, for some reason that really appeals to me but um gold and blue are nice or any shades thereof so pewter being kind of between brown and gold or copper and gold all right anyway i'm i'm rambling so here we go uh let's see i gotta take this off And then 
and put this in. Okay. All right, so it's building, and uh, I think it would be smart to put lockers up here for salt and water, I believe. Even though I have a water locker down here, but... And I, don't, I wouldn't need this, this anymore. This would go back to being locker. This I'll keep. I just think it's smart to have that. These two things are like stuff you grab on your way out as you're headed to ops. Because you're going out the door. And you're about to be a uh, live action boots on the ground, you know. So, let's see. Let's put up here. Okay, how do I want to line this up? Like that. Oh, I only have one titanium. Try and get about the same distance that I was. And I think I was lined up like this. Uh. That'll work. Whoops. Water. Actually water that way it reads salt water that's a uh, silly for me to actually it's idiosyncrasy I admit it <laughs> okay um, lithium okay what's next we just put up the water filtration device now we could and I think we will, just because I don't think I ever even put up a nuclear reactor, maybe at the very end of my first Subnautica run. So we're going to do this. Um, I need a Plasteel Ingot Advanced Wiring Kit and three lead. Very well. Grab the three lead. That's easy. One, two, three. Now Plasteel Ingot. Oh, I'm going to need a lot of titanium. I'm going to need ten of them because I need two plasteel ingots and I'm going to need four lithium. So, nope, not that. One, two, three, four. I'm going to need ten. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. I think I have... Oh, was I wrong? I think I have plasteel. Oh, gosh. I could have sworn I had that somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. One, two. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Okay, that means going upstairs and, um, well, we're going to have to deconstruct this and then I'm going to tear this down. I guess, you know, as good as water marble melons are, I just, I don't need it. I don't need this. So first things first. Oh, I need the advanced wiring kit. Oops. <laughs> All right, it's a good thing that we have not uh, gone below our power requirements. This base doesn't need any other power except what's up top, the solar panels. Okay. Um, wiring kit and computer chip. All right, computer chip needs gold, copper wire, and two table coral.
copper wire. Gold. Two table coral. Whoops. Grab two silver. Make. Oh, wait a minute. Do I, I guess I already have a wiring. Or does it detect? Oh, no, I already have it. I, I totally, 100% don't remember making that. Okay. Wow, talk about being on autopilot. Give that silver back. Advanced wiring kit. Okay, now we're going to need to put uh, modules in here which I have some already. Reactor rods. It holds four. One, two, three, four. What do I do with an empty reactor rod? Are they rechargeable? Okay, that bumps us up to 3,400 kilowatts. So now I can uh, grab all this. Inventory is full. We can eat most of it, though. happened. Doggone it. That's upsetting. Iron Bucket is saying hi. Deconstruct. Can I do it? Yes, I can. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's put up a disposal. Nuclear waste, it's only two titanium. We'll put that guy right here. Casually placed nuclear waste disposal. <laughs> um, how do I make a, uh, a, a nuclear reactor rod? Well, that's how I make it. How do I refill one? In other words, do I need to keep that empty reactor rod? I'm using my phone right now. Subnautica. How to charge empty reactor rod. 
Up to four reactor rods can be placed. Single reactor rod can supply 20,000 energy. Once they are fully consumed, they will leave behind depleted reactor rods. These must be disposed of. Mm. I have a lot of empty reactor rods. I'm wondering if there will be a way to charge them eventually. I've kept them in a locker just in case, but has anyone heard anything about it? Hope they add charge for rods and repair for knife. Now these are pretty old too. Okay, well, uh, I don't see anything immediately. Nuclear waste. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go get rid of this. I can always make another if I absolutely need to. Now those things are kind of expensive to make. So that's kind of the pain in the neck aspect of this kind of power. Two uranite crystal, one lead, one titanium, one glass. The uranite crystal being the most pain in the neck thing to get. I have one, two, three, four, five on hand. Okay. We'll probably need a locker dedicated to uranite crystal. Rubies, where's my ops? Living quarters, operations. Just call it uranite. Oh yeah, uh, I can put, I didn't need to make those plasteel ingots. All right, cool. Next. None of that is needed. And uh, we're good to go here too. So then, going through here, let's see, we do need to make the reinforced dive suit, I suppose. Synthetic fibers, two diamonds, two titanium. One, two. One. One, two. Nifty. Heavy synthetic fiber dive suit providing physical protection and enhanced survival in extreme temps. Outstanding. Moving on up. Man, we making some progress. I think that's all I had. At some point in time, I probably need to get above ground and look for Snowstalker for... I still haven't figured out a use for this thermos, although I've made one. Okay, what about tools? Anything, any new tools? Repair tool, laser cutter, pathfinder tool. Oh, there's the propulsion cannon. Eh. 
mineral detector. Uh, I guess it's better to have it ready. I already forgot what the ingredients were. That was fast. Battery and wiring kit. Okay. And we'll keep this stored in the sea truck. that already. I don't have kyanite. I don't have all the ingredients and I've made this. I've made this. Uh, I've made this. And I've made this. Okay, so we're we're good to go on that end. The last place for us to check is the mobile vehicle bay. Which is someplace up here. There it is. Harsh weather up here. Okay, we can make a sea truck docking module. Three lead, one advanced wiring kit, and a plasteel ingot. Three lead. One advanced wiring and plasteel. And if I remember right, it has to be the last compartment. Welcome aboard, Captain. One, two, three. Plasteel. Did it say wiring kit or advanced wiring kit? I think it was advanced. And it was a, uh, it was a compartment, sea truck compartment. Advanced wiring kit. So I'm gonna need a computer chip, which requires gold, I think. One of these, I should check that. Yeah, copper wire. And, um... Two table coral. Okay, then I need... Wiring kit. And then advanced wiring kit. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. Oh wow, lightning. Yeah, nice weather effects. Alright, docking compartment. 
Now, how do I get you lined up with the rest of the sea truck? Overshot. Did I did I just now connect? I don't think so. Very close. I think that did it. No, it didn't. Okay, I need to look at my picture up there. Frustrating. I think I hit it. Oh, you know what we can do? Stabilize. What is your problem? Why are you wanting to spin so hard? I need to get aligned with it. And then kind of pass right under it. Oh, uh, that should have done it. A little bit frustrating. One, two. Where's my guy even at? On this side? Did I destroy it? I wonder if that's possible. I wonder if I hit it too many times. I don't see that son of a gun anymore. suit beacon 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 signal sea truck main cabin with modules drop pod architect 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 all oh, these are architect and then control room I think I oh God I think I I think I killed it Not even gonna try and hide my frustration at that. All right. Arr.
fabricator docking module, three lead, I gotta make a plasteel ingot now, an advanced wiring kit. Incredible. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna be doing this offline. But we'll save it right here. Well, no, we won't, because I'm going to reload. I'm going to do all this stuff over here. I don't want to waste those materials. So you guys saw, though, what I did in this episode. I'm just going to duplicate that effort. Um, but that's... Uh, <laughs> you can hear it in my tone. I'm pretty... I'm frustrated. It's 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 a laughable frustration. It is. It's It makes me think of a, a Bud Light commercial. Was it Bud? I think it was called High Life. I can't remember what company made, but I think Budweiser did. And it's got this, this guy, the camera angle is down at the knee level. You can see this guy standing next to his mailbox and he's uh, near the camera. So it's from his perspective. And you can see him holding a high life beer and he's looking across the street as his neighbor hopelessly and ineptly tries to back his trailer up. I think it's a camper or a boat or something into his driveway and he's doing like a 32 point turn because he doesn't know what he's doing. He can't, he can't get it done. And the dude drinking the beer, you finally kind of, it kind of shifts up a little bit, the camera angle so you can see his head and he's sort of blurred out cause he's in the foreground, right? And he's just shaking his head like like you have lost so many cool points so man card retracted and that's a little bit about that's how i feel right now i couldn't get my truck backed up to the trailer and hooked on and i destroyed the doggone thing in the process and i'm like i'm mad this was public <laughs> you know this is, i did this in public it's recorded <laughs> you know it's going on the internet it's going on the internet forever <laughs> So, so I kind of feel a little bit like that. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, let you guys go for now. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm, and I will see you in the next episode where this story continues. <laughs> Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.